Hey what's up guys, it's Chickens here, back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get every single possible flower hybrid that we know about so far, and the best way to set them up for hybrid breeding. So first I'm going to show you guys how to set up the flower hybrid uh, farm. So this is the most efficient way to do it, so what you want to do is plant one flower, and then just leave one space in between, so you're going to set up a sort of checkerboard pattern with your flowers like that so as you see I'm leaving one space in between and just connecting them um, all the way across this little land area I planted out so just do this make it as big as you want uh, it really doesn't matter as long as you leave a space in between each flower this way it maximizes the amount of flowers that can breed with one another so as you can see like the one in the middle can breed with like four flowers to its sides as well as like creates more space for new hybrids to pop up so after you do this, all you really need to do after is just water the flowers and just check for hybrids every day. I'll usually get like around one or two new hybrids each day. It's a little bit more rare in this game. It was a new leaf, but uh, just keep doing this. You make them bigger if you want to try to get more hybrids, but that's pretty much it. So next we're going to talk about all the possible hybrids and the combinations you need to get them. Uh, new Horizons are eight flowers that can breed with each other and make hybrid flowers. Uh, those flowers are the Rose, Tulip, Cosmo, Lily, Hyacinth, Pansy, Mums, and Windflowers. For the Rose, it has the most possible hybrids with five that you can get. The first one is Black, which requires two red roses to cross-pollinate. The second is Pink, which requires a red and a white rose. Third is Orange, which requires a yellow and red. Fourth is Purple, which requires two whites. And the last one is Blue, which requires two hybrid red roses. So hybrid red roses are a little bit different from a regular red rose. Uh, hybrid red roses are made specifically from orange and purple roses so you're specifically going to need two hybrid reds to breed with each other you can't use like one regular red rose or one hybrid red you need two hybrid reds in order to get a blue rose next for tulips we have four possible colors the first one is black which is made from two red tulips the second one is orange which is made from a red and yellow tulip uh, third one is pink made from a red and a white and the last one is purple made from two orange tulips So for the next flower we have the Cosmo which has three possible combinations. The first one is pink made from a red and a white, the second one is orange made from a red and a yellow, and the last possible combination is a black which is made from two oranges. Next we have the lilies which have three possible combinations like the Cosmo. The first one is a black lily made from a red and a red, the second one is pink made from a red and a white, and the last one is orange made from a red and a yellow. Next we have a flower that is brand new to the Animal Crossing series. It is called the Mum. The Mum has three possible combinations. The first one is pink which is made from a red and a white. The second is purple made from white and white. And finally we have also seen green mums which have been rumored to be made from two purples but we're not really 100% sure on that. So just leave a comment down below if you have any info on how green mums are made. I will probably be updating the video description later just confirming whether or not this is actually right or not. So next we have another new flower called the Hyacinth and it has four possible combinations. The first one is pink made from a red and a white. The second one is blue made from two whites. The third one is orange made from red and yellow. And the last one is purple made from blue and blue. Next we have the Pansy which has three combinations. The first one is purple made from a blue and a blue. The second one is orange made from a red and a yellow. And the last one is a blue made from a white and white. And finally, for the last flower, it is the wind flower, which has three combinations. The first one is pink, made from orange and red. Second is blue, made from white and white. And the last one is purple, made from blue and blue. So that wraps up my guide to hybrid flower breeding in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is still very early in the game, so there is a possibility that there could be new hybrids or combinations that we have yet to be discovered. So if there are, I'll make sure to put them in the description as well as the comment section. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.